Hi, this is Mick Elliott at European Microwave Week. I'm here with Tim Brauner of Knowles Precision Devices. Talk us through some of Knowles' solutions in 5G millimeter microwave solutions. Absolutely. Uh, the Knowles product is really a manifestation of taking the dielectric laboratories materials that we've been using for the last 40 plus years in our single layer and multi layer capacitors. And the high Q temperature stable performance allows us to really shrink the size of the filter, give it that temperature stability, and and put it in a position where it can be solder surface mounted down. Uh, you get great uh, selectivity out of the filters, extremely small package which allows you to have a lower cost solution that gives you that higher performance filtering need that is necessary for the millimeter wave application. Okay. Looking at millimeter wave, obviously we've got uh sub 6 gigahertz and then millimeter wave is moving up into 28 gigahertz. Is that technology something you approach as well? Or? Right, so uh, we have the capability of supporting sub six gigahertz type filters, but the application as you go higher in frequency actually becomes a much different animal or different problem, if you will. Uh, as you continue to go higher in frequency, your phase array uh, antenna approach ends up playing a bigger role, and but it also becomes a much smaller uh, animal, right? And the phase array ra radar actually needs a lot of uh, small filtering, or just small components in general. And that's where our fit really, uh, the niche of that technology really fits in. But yeah, it's, uh, it's an application that you can use as low as two gigahertz and all the way up to microwave millimeter wave frequencies. I guess this is something we've seen where, uh, maybe this is where Knowles has played an important role. Uh, you've supplied a lot of components into the military aerospace defense and now that's segueing over into the commercial market. Absolutely. The uh, military industry is where we've really cut our teeth. Uh, Knowles has always been focused on high quality high-performing products. These dielectrics are extremely robust and we've had a lot of telecommunication and other uh, commercial customers come to us and say, okay, look, you haven't just developed this product, but it's something that you've been using for 20 plus years that has a reliability, whether it be space heritage or military heritage, that we can now employ inside of our applications. And any new products you've brought along to European Microwave Week you want to talk about? Or... Geez, we're always bringing something new over to the week. So we've just recently come out with our new 5G kits. The 5G kits will include, for millimeter wave frequencies, 26, 28, 39 gigahertz, they'll include power dividers and directional couplers in addition to a evaluation board with that filter in there. And, man, the size uh, is, is so impressive, you really need to see it on that evaluation board. And what sort of interest have you had at the show in those products? The show's been very good. Uh, we've had a lot of customer interest in the, in the products in general, a lot of feedback in our customers that continue to help us develop our roadmap for the next show. And that's across a number of applications, is it? It is. Um, military always tends to be really big in European microwave. We see it, but we're starting to see more of a trend on communication customers that are coming in from uh, the different commercial aspects that are looking for technology for their needs. And I believe Knowles has just uh, won a contract with British Aerospace uh, to supply filters. Can you just give us an overview of what that means for the company? Sure. It's a, it's a pretty big deal. It's our, our first really large contract in uh, in that space where they need a couple hundred thousand filters for uh, their typical EW systems that they're building and uh, a lot of filters necessary and being in inside of a uh, airborne application it's all about shrinking the size of the components to fit them all inside of there so and I guess that is a can be a reasonably long-term contract given the longevity of military systems as well yeah we're expecting it to keep us busy for the next 10 to 15 years uh, with uh, add-on contracts contracts, etc. And, and we're, it, it seems to be like dominoes. It seems like all of those contracts are starting to all hit at the same time. So I expect to continue to see a lot of growth and opportunity there. Okay, okay. a lot there to keep nose busy over the next 10-15 years, clearly. Tim Brauner, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.